hello friends hope you are doing well today in this video tutorial i shall show you how you can create wcf application okay, so let's start i am opening in visual studio visual studio 2022 so from the uh, this Visual Studio project template, I am uh, choosing create a new project. So, after choosing uh, create new project, I have used this recent templates. You can see this, the, these are the recent templates I have used, or you can search here like WCF, then can see WCF service, WCF service application and WCF service library. So their functionalities are uh, mentioned here. You need to choose the correct one. For my case, it will be WCF service application. So it is basically a project for creating WCF service application that is hosted in IIS or WS. So I am choosing this one, choosing and clicking next. Now the project name, project name, in default project name is WCF service 1, now I am not changing it and uh, the donut framework I am using 4.8 so now I am clicking on the create to create this. Now after clicking create a default uh, uh, service is created here you can see wcf uh, service one this is service one dot sbc dot cs file uh, let me close this overview there is one file here which is i service one dot cs so this file actually uh, stored the service contract uh, operation contract as in data contract so service contract it basically represents the overall service and uh, operation contract it represents the operational methods okay that you want to expose and uh, data contract basically means the data or the classes you um, that you will be using okay. so uh, if this is basically interface so no definition will be there only declaration part will be there and you have to implement this function that is in your service one dot sbc class so this is the service one dot sbc class so by they have implemented that get data you can see that get data is implemented here and another is in get data using data contract so it is written in the composite type Taking the composite type and as well as returning the composite type. So this is a data contract that you have already uh, defined here in this I service class. Okay. So let us go to the web.config file. You can see this is the web.config file. This is web.config file. Here binding basic HTTP binding we are using and there is a service behavior metadata service metadata data, and uh, http get enabled is true and https get enabled is true so you can change this name as well now uh, i service uh, if you want to change your own name you can change this name i service and implement that i service in your service class you also can change this class as well so here you have to implement uh, your classes, uh, your methods basically. So in this class you have to implement your methods. Okay. Now let's run this program and see the output. So the, clicking on the uh, run IIS Express.
WCF test prime tool will appear which is adding my service to test file here you can see that, that it has already added this service okay this is the url of that service using which we can uh, <coughs> call the service actually now get data is the method okay. this method that we have implemented there So this is basically the get data class that we have implemented and get data using data contract. Now these two method asynchronous methods are not supported here uh, in, in this client. This asynchronous method is not uh, supported to test by this uh, WCF test client. Now we will uh, we will uh, test the get data as well as the get uh, get data using uh, data contract test it you need to double click here okay now double clicking this request here you can see the request is there uh, now the name request object is here and the name the value of the name so i am putting here i'll say i'm putting here nine okay now click on this invoke i'm clicking invoke and click on okay you can see the output the return return output is you have entered line okay now can test this one as well let us test here you can see the value uh, boolean value false let me change it to true and string value is null there uh, let me change it something like h h okay This is a composite data type uh, which has two values basically one is boolean value and one is string value so boolean i am sending it true and uh, string value sending h h now i am calling the uh, method by clicking this invoke button okay let us see yes you can see that this is the output boolean value true and the string value h h suffix okay now if i go back to my program and see the implementation of the actual method here you can see we have entered the value okay the value will be shown and here is this, this is the composite uh, composite type that is written by this method so here you can see that composite type dot string value plus equal to suffix so h h i have changed the h h so that's why it was showing age age suffix so guys thank you for watching please uh, like share and subscribe my channel if you feel that it helps you thanks again for watching